manufacturing executives are very uh, intimidated by what's happening now because uh, if I were the head of a company that's been making diesel engines for the last hundred years, I mean, my company knows diesel engines. But the definition of what is a diesel engine is now changing quickly. You know, in the last 10 years, uh, we had the inclusion of embedded software and electronics and so forth. But now, when we step across the line from a smart engine to a smart connected engine, suddenly there's an explosion of new technological you know, opportunities and concerns. I'm gonna need a device cloud and big data and integration and security and applications on smartphones and tablets and wow, who in our engineering department understands that technology stack? You know, not many. Uh, maybe you turn to your IT department, it's actually more like what they do. Maybe you're gonna to have to have your IT department involved in engineering your next generation product. My advice would be to try to understand the layers of the technology stack, try to get to the point of where are you going to really add value? You know, putting sensors in your products, collecting data within your products, you can add a lot of value there. Probably you're gonna to wanna to connect that then to some type of a cloud solution that you probably need to purchase, you know, a device cloud of sorts. Probably you're gonna need some big data analytics and you're gonna to need to make some investments there in big data technology. Uh, you're going to need security and integration technology, and again, that probably needs to come from the outside. But when it comes back to the applications that help you to operate and service and create feedback loops, you're going to want to get involved again because who knows diesel engines and how to operate them better than the company who's been making diesel engines for 100 years. Mm -hmm.